you are overcomplicating self-improvement. See, what happened is, a few years ago, self-improvement got extremely popular. At this point, there are millions of videos, and in every video is just always some person who claims that they have figured out the secret to life. Spoiler, no one is ever going to share the secret to life with you. They want the advantage over everyone. Of course they do. It's the most optimal way to use it. So I'm just going to simplify self-improvement. After this video, you're not going to have to watch any other self-improvement videos, because that is just you wasting time. And what's the old saying? It's just time is money, right? And I am by no means the most consistent person. Some weeks, I am the most disciplined person alive. Some weeks, I fall into the deepest pits of degeneracy. You gotta remember, I'm Gen Z. Okay, I was born 2007. I was born after Spotify was created. My brain has already rotted. I'm just trying to heal it back up again. First of all, you're gonna need a paper or your phone notepad or something. Or, if you're like me, invest in a whiteboard. I got one right there. That's why there are pens in a a razor right there because i remember hamza said this you can't trust your brain anymore especially these days because your brain is controlled by the internet there are billion dollar companies that have so many advantages over you they know exactly how you think you have been manipulated essentially like the rest of us you've been taught to believe in your feelings and just be really soft and that it's okay calm down relax do nothing watch netflix you'll feel better no you won't we all know you won't. So get a piece of paper or something right now. You're gonna want to write down your life goals. What do you want in life? Okay, and now I'm not talking about uh, getting a new haircut or making a uh, $1,000. I'm talking about your entire life. What is your goal? Like what kind of person do you want to be for the rest of your life type shit? Write that down. I'm gonna do it. Here's what I've written down. These are pretty basic life goals. I want a lot of money. I want a strong physique, a decent family and good health. Write down as many as you need, okay? Because it doesn't really matter how many you write down. And I would really suggest anything that has to do with the gym. Going up the stairs, you're not going to run out of breath or breathe heavy. Which is a really fucking annoying thing. I remember my entire life, I've been really unathletic. So I know what it's like being the skinniest person and still almost running out of breath when you're walking upstairs. It's weird. Add something that has to do with the gym, please. Okay, now you, with your life goals. The reason we wrote these down is because our life is pretty much worthless if we don't try to make progress in these areas. Now, having a decent family, that comes from being a healthy person with a strong physique and a lot of money and just being a good person overall. So, having a decent family, I don't really need to write down that in the list, but it's life goals. I'm gonna keep it. So, with these goals, you're gonna write down a routine. That's the base of all self-improvement. Wake up at a specific time, go to sleep at a specific time, do these exact activities at a specific time every day to make sure that you make progress in these areas. Because if you don't, you're wasting your life. Make sure that whatever life goals you had written down, they are added to the routine in some way. All right, so my routine is done and I recommend adding timestamps for every activity. So you make sure that you don't waste any time and end up forgetting something and then you don't have enough time to do it just to give you pretty much what a routine could look like i'm just i'm just gonna tell you mine wake up at seven and drink two liters of water at 0710 by the way this is gonna be military time because i live in sweden and that's how we do things at 710 i take vitamins just to make sure that i get enough of those and at 715 stretch because good health 7 30 clean room just to make sure that that is done for the day then after that hygiene at 7 40 then at 8 i'd start work unfortunately i got school now so i pretty much have no time for work anymore i actually have to sacrifice sleep to get work done now from 8 to 18 i work and then at 18 i eat the correct amount of calories whatever that means Maybe you gotta cut, maybe you wanna bulk. At 1940, I will go to the gym and do this full body workout. I've made a video on that previously. Then 2140, because it takes me a lot of time to be at the gym, I take a lot of rest to make sure that I get the correct amount of reps every time. After the gym, it's just 2140 hygiene again, and then 22 sleep. Anyway, that's it. Have life goals, have a routine catered to your life goals. Self-improvement is just a fancy word for doing what you're supposed to do. Stop overcomplicating it. Subscribe because you know you want to.